an average workout day, Tia Claire Toomey eats... Roughly around about 65 to 75 grams of fat, 230 to 250 grams of carbohydrates, and then I'll make sure that I'm having 140 to 150 grams of protein. But you have to hear about the rest of this woman's nutrition plan, which includes so much CBD that she actually takes it pre-workout. This is Nick, I'm the nutrition editor at barbend.com and Tia Claire Toomey is an athlete at CrossFit, well, for CrossFit, in CrossFit, she's, she's the fittest woman on earth. She's the fittest woman on earth, TM, actually. That is a trademarked phrase. You cannot say that about any other human being on earth except for Tia Claire Toomey. She is the first ever three-time fittest woman on earth, having won the Reebok CrossFit Games in 2017, 2018, and 2019, making her the most prominent female CrossFit athlete of all time. So, how does this woman fuel her mind-blowing workouts? Well, she stands at about five foot four, weighs about 135 pounds, and her total calories. When it comes into the, the season and when I'm uh, really prioritizing training and we're building up to the games, I'm having at least 2,500 calories a day. And it's a little under 2,000 calories a day in the off season when she's not training quite as much. She was eating a little less when she was trying to make weight as a 58 kilo weightlifter, which I'm really just mentioning because you should know this woman has also competed as an Olympic weightlifter and was a Commonwealth Games champion in 2018 where she won a gold medal for a total of 201 kilograms. And this is the same year she won the CrossFit Games. So this woman is a really, really legitimate athlete. But anyway, nowadays she eats roughly 2,500 or more calories on training days. And she gets about 60 to 70 grams of fat, about 250 grams of carbohydrates, and about 150 grams of protein, which adds up to a little over 2,200 calories. She says she eats at least 2,500 calories. I imagine when she's increasing her calories, it's coming mostly from carbohydrates because again, this woman is a legit athlete. I really do make sure that when I'm eating, I'm consuming carbohydrates around my training. And that's just so that I have a lot more energy when it comes to training. And when I'm requiring so much energy from my body, I am able to actually produce that energy when I'm needing it. So I will make sure that I am having my carbohydrates more so around my training um, times. And then having my fats either, you know, a few hours before or few hours after. This is a strategy that's not uncommon among athletes. From fellow CrossFit superstar Rich Froning to USA weightlifting champion Catherine Nye, a lot of athletes limit fat surrounding their workouts because fat slows digestion. So it can be useful for keeping you sated, like to help you keep full, but fat slows digestion and around a workout, before a workout, in the middle of a workout, and after a workout, you want your carbohydrates to digest quite quickly so you can quickly get some available energy and you can quickly replete your glycogen stores after the workout. That said, sometimes when she trains in the morning, Tia Claire trains fasted. If I have a morning session, I will wake up and I'll actually train on an empty stomach um, because I've really had a, quite a lot of food for dinner and I'm wanting to, um, I guess, not so much burn that off for weight loss, but I'm wanting to use that energy that I've stored overnight. Um, <clears throat> and that's just something that I felt that I've, has worked really well for me and I can function very well on that. But then if I don't train until late afternoon, which there are some days that I just do a single session, I'll have my um, fats in the morning at breakfast and then uh, make sure that I have my carbohydrates closer to my training. And she does train a lot. This woman, when the CrossFit Games season kicks off, like when the Open begins, she'll usually be working out about five hours a day. So they'll start off with like a 90 minute session in the morning, then she'll go home and like take a nap or maybe she'll do some ROMWOD. That's a mobility program by physical therapist Kelly Starrett. And then... I will go and spend the rest of the time in the gym, which will be maybe about four hours or so in the gym, making sure that I'm building my strength. So doing strength stuff, um, working on my gymnastics skill, obviously doing a lot of Metcons and um, just making sure that I'm covering that variety that CrossFit provides. But sometimes like when the CrossFit games are just around the corner later in the season, she'll sometimes train for eight to 10 hours a day. So this is very much a full-time job. This is an elite athlete we're talking about. So what kinds of foods does she actually eat? 
Well, she's not paleo. Uh, back in the early days when she started out her CrossFit career, she tended to avoid wheat as was the fashion in the CrossFit community. Nowadays, people don't tend to be quite as paleo in the CrossFit community. And Tia Claire is just a massive fan of sourdough bread. She used to avoid it, now she eats it whenever she feels like it. As you may have figured out, she's more about listening to what her body responds well to than blindly following some nutritional school of thought. And while dairy doesn't really agree with her very well, she's a pretty wide variety of whole foods. I also am taking a very um, conscious effort on what kind of foods I'm putting into the body. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm having a lot of the fresh vegetables and fruits. I, I really enjoy red meat, but I want to have the variety of different proteins. So making sure that I'm having some fish and some chicken uh, within my diet. And so that's something that's very important to me rather than just making sure, okay, oh, it's Wednesday, I have to eat more carbohydrates. It, it doesn't really work like that because every day is different and I don't really have a specific rest day. So in other words, she doesn't cycle carbohydrates like a lot of other athletes do, eating more carbs on workout days and fewer carbs on rest days. She's more about consistency and food quality. And as for her daily staples. Um, one thing that I really, really love is my apple cider vinegar in the morning. And for a number of reasons, I think that it's a really great way to help with digestion. It fixes so many things within the body uh, that you aren't very aware of. So that's something that I definitely have religiously. Tia Claire is also really into coconut water. She makes a smoothie with coconut water and vegetables just about every single day. And that's because coconut water is a good source of electrolytes. There's a decent amount of sodium and potassium in there. And athletes in particular, they typically need to focus on their sodium more than you might think they do. This is an unusual point of contention. A lot of people think that sodium is bad for you. And like, this, I'm not a doctor, this is not medical advice or anything like that. But the thing is, a lot of sodium from processed foods when you're inactive, that could potentially cause issues. But when you're an athlete and you're working out regularly and working out a lot, you are losing sodium from your body through your sweat. The recommended daily intake for sodium is about 2.3 grams, but some studies have found that athletes, when they're working out for an hour, they can lose up to seven grams of sodium. And those are big male football players. To be fair, Tia Clotumi is quite small, but she still works out like five hours a day, maybe even more. So sodium is actually a pretty important electrolyte to focus on. It helps with muscle contraction, helps maintain fluid balance, helps to maintain hydration, a bunch of other stuff. So that's something that I did really want to emphasize here. And now as for supplements. In the morning, I'll try and make sure that I have my zinc tablets. I'll also have omega-3, so my fish oil tablets. Uh, I also have magnesium tablets in the morning. I, I like to have the multivitamins. But there's one very popular supplement to which she just says no. I try and stay away from the pre-workouts. Like I will have coffee if I need to, um, but I try and not have coffee anytime after lunch. Not that it keeps me up, it's just I know how long caffeine stays in the body for. And so I'm trying to make sure that when it does come to um, Resting and recovering at night time, I don't have as much caffeine in the body as, as what I would if I had a coffee at 1 p.m. Finally, this woman takes a lot of CBD. Now, at this point, I need to make it clear that the CBD company Beam sponsors Tia Claire Toomey, as well as Matt Fraser, the reigning fittest man on earth. Now, they do not sponsor this video. They do not give us any money to say that, but they do give money to these athletes, and they did help us to set up this interview. So full disclosure, uh, they are a tiny bit involved behind the scenes here. CBD, it is a cannabinoid. That's a chemical found in cannabis, and this newly legal chemical does not get you high, but there is some evidence that it could potentially help with like muscle pain, joint pain, uh, inflammation, anxiety related insomnia, a few other interesting things. And what really surprised me was that Tia Claire told me that in addition to taking a little bit of CBD before she goes to sleep, she also takes it before she works out, which I was kind of confused by because I haven't taken CBD myself, but I kind of thought it was meant to help, you know, chill you out a little bit. It was something that I was a little skeptical as well, but um, when, so, it, it doesn't just help you um, when you want to relax. It actually helps you, I guess, stay focused in, in what you're about to do rather than have that, um, I guess, really blurry vision of what you're about to you know, do, whether it's com like training, competing, um, you know, any kind of office work, whatever it is. I mean, I'm, I'm no professional when it comes to talking about um, CBD, but I just know that it has really allowed me to focus and 
and just really kind of channel my energy into the particular workout that I want to do because every so often, you know, you're wanting to zone out, it starts getting a little hard and you're trying to look for that out. But um, I know that whenever I'm constantly taking uh, my CBD oil, I'm able to actually stay focused and stay in the zone. And it's it has actually really helped I feel like it's something that helps me um, with recovery as well. And when I have a look at my sleep from the night before, I can tell um, that, you know, I, I get a lot more deeper sleep when I am regularly having beam compared to when I'm not. For the record, Tia Claire takes eight to 10 milligrams of CBD per day, but some athletes take a lot more. I recently spoke to World's Strongest Man athletes and brothers, Luke and Tom Stoltman, who told me they take 100 milligrams of the stuff under their tongue before they go to sleep. And they said that really helps their recovery. That's a lot more CBD, but then again, they weigh like at least three times more than Tia Claire, so that could potentially explain that discrepancy. Now, I should point out that while it is federally legal, and the World Health Organization, the National Institutes on Drug Abuse, perhaps most importantly for athletes, the World Anti-Doping Agency have no issues with CBD. It is nonetheless true that the US FDA is still skittish about its use. They released a paper in late 2019 where they tried to warn against excessive use of CBD, saying that it could potentially maybe cause liver problems, it might interact with medications. The main takeaway was that it's really, really new. We don't have a lot of evidence on long-term regular use of CBD. So while there are a lot of really encouraging studies out there, it's still pretty new. We could do with more research and it's still controversial in some circles. All right, that is the diet and supplement routine of the world's fittest woman, the longest reigning world's fittest woman at that. So the main takeaways here are a lot of whole foods, relatively consistent macronutrient intake for this particular individual, a lot of coconut water smoothies and plenty of magnesium, fish oil, and CBD. I really, really want to thank Tia Claire Toomey for coming on the show. Her Instagram handle is in the description below. I encourage you to follow her. She's a phenomenal athlete, and we wish her all the best of luck at the next CrossFit Games.